thanks so much, Joelle, for that introduction. Um, yeah, so I've been invited here on behalf of Creative Future. Um, Creative Future uh, Literary Worlds, so anyone who doesn't know, is a brilliant organisation that works with uh, writers from underrepresented backgrounds, whether that's due to um, where you come from or your kind of economic situation. This organisation is there to help, and I'm really pleased I entered. Uh, last year, um, I was surprised to win gold uh, in their prose category. Um, and yeah, I'll just can give a quick speech about the, the brilliant effects and um, that have kind of risen on opportunities after having entered this competition. Um, and hopefully they'll inspire you to maybe go away and think about entering some competitions, um, particularly Creative Future Awards if that would be of interest. Um, so I submitted a story. Um, it was called Hearts for Sale. It was a very surreal, strange story set in a supermarket that sells human hearts. Um, so I didn't really think anyone would be interested in that. But, you know, I, I submitted it and gave it a go anyway. Um, and this was the first time I've ever entered any kind of competition to do with story writing. So low expectations. Um, and, yeah, so I was thrilled to hear the news that I'd won gold. And I think Creative Future is really interesting to look into um, because they're quite different to other competitions out there. Um, particularly for me, what I was interested in is the way that they kind of work to support writers long term, um, beyond the kind of short term buzz of the prize ceremony. You don't just kind of um, appear and then no one's ever heard of you anymore. They kind of work with you. They offer um, professional development prizes um, that kind of help you take your career to the next level. So it's kind of really thinking about you know, your career and where you're going as a writer. Um, in my experience, I, w I was offered a writing course, for example, um, with Faber and Faber, um, which was, yeah, incredible. Um, a manuscript assessment as well, and, as, you know, as well as a, a check. But, you know, besides the money, I think it was more the opportunity to work with professionals one-to-one um, -one and, you know, get valuable feedback. Um, so, yeah, I... That was really helpful to me, the course that I did. It was with Tom Bromley, um, Faber and Faber. Um, I would definitely recommend um, joining one of these courses. I actually did it online, so you don't have to be face to face if you have commitments. Um, you can do it remotely um, you know, to suit your lifestyle. And yeah, it really helped. I, um, I actually always refer back to the notes and the prompts that we were given during that course whenever I'm sitting down to write a story or even a poem um, nowadays. Um, there's also the Literary Consultancy Agency, um, which was offered to me uh, as part of one of the prizes. And this was really helpful for me thinking about preparing a manuscript. This is something I'd never kind of thought about before, having um, a series of works that all tie together, you know, with a theme rather than just odd random bits that kind of linger on the shelf and, you know, you never put together. So that was really helpful to me thinking kind of, yeah, how to link all these different works. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out the Literary Consultancy Agency if you're thinking about taking your writing to the next step, next level of, you know, thinking about an agent perhaps, uh, representation. Um, yeah, it was really valuable for me. Um, as a direct result of me actually using this service at the Literary Consul Consultancy Agency, um, I rewrote completely one of my stories, um, a story called The Plant Whisperer, um, in line with feedback from Roger Glass and the new revised um, version of the story, I submitted to a competition um, run by The Guardian and Fourth Estate um, publications, and it actually was long-listed. Um, so that is a direct result of me having won the Creative Future competition and then getting this prize at Literary Consultancy Agency and then plucking up the courage to, you know, put it out there. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend just uh, embracing this kind of chain of events that can happen. Um, yeah, and feedback is, you know, just hugely helpful anyway for making, making things better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Creative Future particularly and these other competitions I mentioned and organisations has really helped me kind of probe my curiosity for writing as a career, seeing how it can be viable and, you know, enjoyable and possible. Um, and, yeah, I mean, the awards ceremony was brilliant as well. Um, you know, having all these people who are interested in writing in one place. Being able to speak and network is so valuable, so I definitely encourage a bit of networking after, you know, go up and strike up conversation. You know, people just love to um, talk about shared love of writing. Um, so yeah, networking's been helpful. Um, and yeah, I think my, my only advice would be just to, to submit. 
to competitions and get your work out there and just have the courage to, um, to, to give it a go if that's your passion. So yeah, thank you.